Measurement is defined as the assignment of a number to the characteristic of an object or event which can be compared with other objects and events. There are standards of measurement that we use in our everyday lives, such as distance, time, and temperature, and there are those that we unconsciously depend on, such as electrical current, pressure, and alignment. Successful construction, operation, and maintenance of any object or machine is reliant upon the utility of appropriate measuring instruments. Our measurement exhibit displays an eclectic variety of such instruments, as veteran museum volunteer Bob Timmerman explains. I'm Bob Timmerman. I'm a museum volunteer, I'm trained as a mechanical engineer, interested in the history of machinery and measurement. Uh, I've got a small shop in my cellar, and so I use measuring tools on a regular basis. I've also done electronic work, and so I've used a fair number of electronic measuring tools, and I'm the person who has done the write-up of all of these uh, measuring instruments in this exhibit, and I'm happy to uh, describe some of them to you. This is a device known as a steam engine indicator. It measures both the pressure inside the engine cylinder simultaneously with measuring the travel of the engine piston and so that it actually draws a graph of uh, how the pressure varies as the engine piston uh, goes down its stroke and was vital in the days when large steam engines drove mills used for adjusting the valves of the steam engine for maximum economy. Similar devices are still used today in the development of diesel and gasoline engines. Uh, here we have an exhibit of pressure measuring devices. We have several pressure gauges in common use today in boiler plants, air conditioning plants, and anywhere it's necessary to measure pressure. And this is an example of an early fuel pressure, vacuum gauge, and compression pressure measure used for, uh, by mechanics for checking cars. Down here we have a number of temperature indicators, and this one here is unusual. It is called a sling psychrometer, and it has two thermometers on it, one that has a conventional bulb and the other one that has a wick around it and it's used for measuring temperature and humidity. The device is still in common use, and you can see one bulb that has a wick and the other bulb that it does not, and you have to maintain air velocity around the device, and so you rotate it this way to measure both the, what's called the dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature, and from these you can derive humidity. We have an exhibit here of three electrical voltmeters. Measuring voltage and current in an electric circuit it is vital to understanding how the circuit is functioning. This first one dates from about 1905, 1920, somewhere in this region as conventional, highly accurate voltmeter. This is a meter made probably in the 1940s, and it's a commercial unit, probably would be used by radio technicians out in the field. And here, the little red meter is a conventional meter, probably made in the 1990s, and would be sold fairly uh, inexpensively and used by various technicians. And this exhibit shows the evolution of voltage measuring equipment over the years. This device is a Shore scleroscope, and it is one of several devices designed for measuring the hardness of metals, and it operates by pushing or dropping a ball into a sample of metal, and then the size of the indentation is measured. Hardness is one very important property of a metal that has to be evaluated uh, both in design of a product and then in production. 